How is it going, everyone? Welcome back. Let's talk a little bit of T. Higgins. T. Higgins, uh, 74 catches, 1,091 receiving yards last season for these Bengals. Had a pretty solid season. Expectations, a little bit higher for T. Higgins this season, though. Is he going to reach them expectations? I think he does. I think T. Higgins has a great season. You look at the way T. Higgins finished last season, his final 10 games, including playoffs, he was averaging 95 receiving yards a game. That's a 1,600-yard pace for his season. Does he get that? Uh, we'll see. But I think there's clearly multiple reasons he had those numbers put up the final 10 games of the season. Uh, one of them obviously being Jamar Chase lining up on the opposite side of him. Jamar Chase proving himself in this league and forcing teams to go out there, double him, put their best guy on him, and focus their attention on stopping him and not letting him beat them deep, beat them across the field, what have you. So the attention was driven to the other side of the field. Does that change from last year to this year? Not really. T. Higgins, once again, is going to have a chance to eat in that situation. Do I think later in the season, we see more teams potentially saying, all right, we're not going to focus as much on a one guy here. We're just going to, we're not going to take our number one CB and follow Chase around all game. We're just going to line them up on one side of the field because it's either Higgins or Chase. We've got to try to stop one of them. I think we see more of that. Game plan is going to be really interesting. It really is because I think, Again, you're going to see Jamar Chase. He's going to be the main focal point this first half of the season by teams. But when T. Higgins starts tearing teams apart, because Joe Burrow is going to have more time to throw the football, that connection between T. Higgins and Joe Burrow is better than it was to start last season, which, again, is an important thing to note. I think you see the chemistry between Burrow and Chase because of the time they played together. We're now going to see that chemistry between Higgins and Chase continue to grow and grow and grow it was his first full season these two played together last season and again that is a big part massive part of why you seen Higgins do what he did those final 10 games of the season it was essentially Burrow and Higgins first full season together halfway through last season and we've seen them really start to connect and really start to flourish together and I think we're going to see that continue to roll this season not only continue to roll but to continue to improve and improve and improve and improve. The sky is the limit here, considering Joe Burrow is going to have time to throw the football. They're going to have opportunities to create plays that were not there last season. It's going to be really exciting to see the way this team plays. It's going to be interesting to see the way defenses play this team, because I really did think, it sounds crazy now looking back, probably Bengals made the right decision, but I really did think T. Higgins had the capabilities of being his Bengals number one and pushing through and being a really a top 10 number one in this league. And now to see the Bengals have the possibility of having two of them on this uh, on this roster, going to be tough to match up against. We'll see. We're going to say T. Higgins drops thirteen hundred and seven yards this season, ninety three touch or catches. We're going to say about we're going to say about seven touchdowns. Love to hear you guys' thoughts. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you next time.